Senator Jeff Sessions is, of course, a Republican of Alabama. He's going to attempt to school President Obama here on the science of substance abuse, and in particular, weed. And it's not going to go too well. Let's listen. Here is, uh, did the president make, con conduct any medical or scientific survey before he waltz into the New Yorker? and opine contrary to the position of attorney generals and presidents universally prior to that, that marijuana is not, uh, uh, as I've quoted him, did he study any of this data before he made that statement? Uh, I don't know, but I, I think as I did said- Did he consult with you before he made that statement? No, we didn't talk about that. Well, what about this study from the American Medical Association, October of 2013? Heavy cannabis use in adolescents causes persistent impairments in neurocognitive performance and IQ, and use is associated with increased rates of anxiety, mood, and psychotic thought disorders, close quote. Or this report from Northwestern University in December, last December, the study found that marijuana users have abnormal brain structure and poor memory and that chronic marijuana use may lead to brain changes resembling schizophrenia. The study also reported that the younger the person starts using marijuana, the worse the effects become. Would you dispute that, that, that those reports? I have not read the reports, but I don't, if, if they are in fact you know, from the AMA, I'm sure they are um, good reports, but that is exactly why uh, one of our eight enforcement priorities is the prevention of marijuana to minors. Well, Lady Gaga said she's addicted to it and is not harmless. She's been addicted to it. Patrick Kennedy, former Congressman Kennedy, uh, said the president is wrong on this subject. I just think it's a huge issue. I hope that you will talk with the president, you're close to him, and uh, begin to push back or pull back from this position that I think is going to be adverse to the health of America. Yes, uh, Lady Gaga. That's a great argument against weed, right up there with Socrates and Bertrand Russell. So here's the problem. He quotes studies that he didn't read. The methodology was for heavy use among teenagers. Heavy use among teenagers. Yeah, that's going to affect your IQ. That's going to affect, you know, uh, your development as you grow. Just like heavy drinking among teenagers will do that. Fuck, you You do anything at high levels except masturbate. When you're a teenager, it's going to affect you in a negative way. So, uh, uh, what argument are you making? Imagine somebody drinks five Red Bulls a day when they're a teenager. That's not going to affect you as you grow? Uh, somebody drinks, I don't know, drinks uh, five beers a night or five alcoholic beverages a night when they're a teenager. That's going to affect your IQ. That's going to affect your brain. Same thing with, with marijuana. You're not telling us anything we didn't know. It's like any other drug. But should we ban them all? because they might have some negative consequences for teens if they use them in an excessive way? That's a ridiculous argument. And the science is perfectly clear in the other direction. In fact, when you look at the totality of the harm done for marijuana and for alcohol, alcohol is much worse. In fact, it's so much so, so that alcohol was ranked number fifth, uh, number fifth, number five, in uh, the worst drug for human consumption list, it was a study that was done in Britain, I think it was done in 2005, uh, weed wasn't even in the top 10. I mean, think about that, man. Uh, tobacco and alcohol cracked the top 10. Weed was not even in the top 10. Science.